Hello, everyone. This is Angela Wynn, your 2020 to 2021 district secretary. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the new community system where you will be filling out the online product reports and updating the officer information form for your club. First, to access the new community system, type in floridakeyclub.org into your search bar and then click on the community tab to get onto the website, or you can also type in the link member.floridakeyclub.org. Then, to log into community, your club advisor will enter their email and password or click the Forgot Password button. From here, they can log in and go to the Users tab, click Add New, and complete all required forms to add the club secretary so that they can also access the community system. If your advisor and secretary are unable to access the system, please email tech at floridakeyclub.org for more help. When you're able to access the system, it will bring you to a homepage which looks like this. You will also be able to see how many participating members you have, how many service hours your club has, and the average number of service hours per member. Next, we're going to be going over the Officer Information Form, which is a vital resource for your Lieutenant Governor to be able to contact your club. First, click the Officer Information Form tab and click Edit and complete all required forms for your officers, which include name, email, phone number, and club Instagram and website if applicable. To submit the form, you're not required to complete all the boxes, but you should give as much information as possible and update it throughout the year if any contact information changes. Also, please make sure that you are submitting phone numbers and emails that your officers and advisors regularly use so that your lieutenant governor can easily contact you. One other thing to note is that for the positions such as secondary president or secondary secretary, these officers are unable to apply for distinguished awards at DCOM. So if you have these positions at your club, please discuss who will have the primary position and secondary position with your club officers and advisors. Also, it tells you your club ID number, division, and zone here. And when you finish updating, click Save. The next thing that we're going to be going over are the online prior reports, which informs your lieutenant governor about your club meetings, projects, and activity every month so they can help your club in any way possible. These reports are due the 10th of every following month, so for example, the November online prior report is due December 10th. There are also some exceptions throughout the year, but your lieutenant governor will inform you about these exceptions. To access the online prior reports, click the online prior report button and click the edit button for the particular month you are editing. Starting off with a section about your lieutenant governor and membership. This section asks if your lieutenant governor has sent their monthly newsletter and if they've contacted you. You are also able to give additional comments to your lieutenant governor, record the amount of participating members, and give any general comments that you may have. Then the next section is about meetings, where you can choose from 12 different meeting types such as club meeting, club board meeting, club social, DCM, KCKC, Springs on Rally, district board meeting, um, K Kids meeting, Builders Club meeting, Circle K meeting, Action meeting, or Kiwanis meeting. Then you'll fill out the other fields, including the number of members present, the date, if your Kiwanis advisor, faculty advisor, or a guest was present, and any additional comments you may have. You can also add multiple meetings per month by clicking the Add Meeting button here. Finally, the last portion of the online prior report is, is the project section. Here you'll fill out the project name, date, number of members present, and total hours performed. One new thing about the online prior reports on community is that you can add multiple project dates per service project. So for example, if your club has uh, multiple homeless feedings per month. To add multiple project dates, you'll click the add project date button, um, then fill out the date, the number of members present, and the total hours performed. Then you will add a brief description and any comments you have about the service project. All service projects fall under three categories, which are either hands-on project, donation drive, and charity fundraiser. The more information icon tells more about each type of project. So for example, the hands-on project is a project where members are working directly to serve the community. An example of this is reading to kids, cleaning classrooms, etc. Then for the donation drive, this is a project where members collect items for a charitable cause, so a book drive, canned food drive, etc. And then finally for the charity drive, members participate in a fundraiser which proceeds to benefit a charity, so a car wash or movie night. So when you click these buttons, it'll ask for the, the type of hands-on project here, so you can click whatever type of project it was. Then for donation drive, you'll click what items you collected and how many items you collected. Then for the charity fundraiser, you'll click what charity you donated to and how much money you guys raised. Your service project may also align with the governor's project, which for 2020 to 2021 is Governor Joey's Keys for Kids. The Keys for Kids project aims to empower a generation of lifelong leaders and unlock a better future through showing kindness, encouraging leadership, making connections, and supporting children in need. 
So please ensure that your club participates in this project and plays a part in helping children across the Florida District pursue their goals. And as you can see, there's more information about the Governor's Project here, so feel free to pause and read this over. Upon completion, you can either click Save for Later or Submit, but something to note is that if your online prior report is not submitted by the 10th, it will still be considered late even if it is saved. Finally, for all online prior reports, please submit accurate service hours. The service hour is defined as the actual time worked to collect, count, package, and or deliver the objects. And hours are not based on the number of items that you donate. So for example, donating 50 cans of food does not count for service hours, but the time you took to donate and package these cans of food would count for service hours. So just please make sure you're following the definition of a service hour when submitting service hours in the online prior report. So as a club secretary, you have to keep your officer information form and other reports updated, be prompt, organized, and efficient, take role in minutes at meetings, track service hours and the point system through Excel or Google Sheets, and also have sign-in sheets at service events. To maintain a roster of dues-paid members, assist the club president with needed tasks such as planning board meetings, attend key club activities such as Casey Casey, Springs and Rally, Decon, and to work with the online prior port system. So some important reminders include that online prior reports are due the 10th of the following month um, to work closely with your club president and faculty advisor throughout the year, to attend divisional zone and district events, and to always contact your lieutenant governor or district secretary if you have any questions or concerns. And as the club secretary, you are the backbone of your club, so always make sure that you are being organized and submitting your reports on time. That is the end of the video tutorial, and I hope that this video helped you learn more about how to use the community system. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact your lieutenant governor or your district secretary by secretary at floridakeyclub.org or your district technical assistant by tech at floridakeyclub.org.